Hello everybody, Shadowcat here, and today we're back with the first ever episode of Do You Know What Grinds My Gears? And today I'm talking about what fucking grinds my gears to the fucking max. Like, I just, I just fucking hate this shit. I, I hate it more than anything. It's these fucking self-entitled goddamn people. Fucking, uh... so fucking unprepared for this video. Fuck, not fucking Instagram Geo, god fucking damn it. Geo. <laughs> Fuck. Girl. Instagram girl. Uh, all, oh my fucking god. Alright, so I'm just gonna take a fucking example uh, of this shit. Um... Alright, well, here, here, I'm just gonna take the fucking people like this. Oh, these girls like these. Uh, I don't fucking know this lady. Alright, but I'm just gonna use her people, uh, people uh, who pose in photos like fucking her. Holy shit, you can land a fucking flame on her forehead. Hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me do that real quick. Gemini, you black. I don't know how to draw a fucking flame. That is the most fucking shit plane I've ever fucking drawn. I can't fucking draw well digitally. But, here we go. As you can see. Uh, the girls like these, uh, these fucking girls will go around and they'll be like, Ooh, I'm ugly. Oh, look at me, I'm so ugly. Oh. And then they'll fucking beg for fucking, like, comments. Like, uh, oh, I'm ugly. But they'll probably just, like, fucking this. And then they'll be like, oh, I'm ugly, and then they'll, they'll expect people to be fucking nice in the comments. And usually it fucking works, but I, I, I just fucking hate that. It's these people that will pose like this in fucking photos and spam your fucking feed with Snapchat filters. It's like, if you really believe you're fucking pretty, why don't you actually compose properly? And if you're going to use a cat of filters like this and say you're ugly, then maybe you fucking are if you have to use a filter to hide your goddamn face. Oh my fucking god. Why did I even search this up? This makes me want to fucking die. God bless. But it's fucking girls like, uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna say, uh, I don't, I don't fucking care about her name. What the fuck? Mac Luox. Or Lox. So, oh, what kind of apple lock do you have? Put them in the cheap shit. But it's people like these that fucking grind my gears. And they'll go, and they'll, they'll, they'll be here, and they'll just uh, fucking spam your goddamn feed with quotes like, Create the highest, grandest vision possible for your life. Because you become what you believe. Or it's fucking people that post fucking like, uh, goddamn, uh, uh, Jesus quotes and God quotes and they'll fucking spam your fucking feed with that. In half the time, it'll be a picture like this and it'll have a fucking quote like, uh, like this. I believe that everything happens for a reason. People change so that you can learn to let go. Things go wrong so you can appreciate where them when they rewrite. You believe lies so you eventually learn to trust no one but yourself. And sometimes, Good things fall apart, but better things can fall together. Yeah, you know what else fell apart, Marilyn Monroe? Your fucking life, holy shit, like, have you ever learned about what fucking happened to her? It's fucking crazy, they've made her fucking change her name. Her actual name was Jean, actually. And they fucking forced her to make a bunch of lewd fucking photos. People fucking hounded her. The fact that they put, like, a fucking sparkly, sparkle, 
scene here has two meanings. Forget everything run or phrase everything in raw. The choice is yours. What the fuck is this? Some sort of fucking action movie? I mean, I, th I just fucking hate some of these quotes. They're just so fucking dramatic and so fucking stupid. And like it's ten percent what happens to you, and ninety percent how do you react to it? Where'd you get those fucking statistics, huh? Like honestly, just <laughs> wait, wait, what? A woman is like a tea bag. You never know how strong she is until she gets in hot water. Or you can just read the fucking package. Or just take it out early. Like, there's plenty of fucking options. You can't eat. Be the attitude you want to be around. I want to be around attitude that doesn't fucking lie to me all the time. Looks like it's doing, uh, doing pretty well. Negativity and pessimism are far too common these days. And you know what else is very common? Fucking pussies like you sitting there on Pinterest and shit and fucking posting these quotes. Your mind is a powerful thing. When you fill with positive thoughts, your life will start to change. You know, I could be, ha you know, here, here, I'm gonna give a little fucking example. Somebody could be having their fucking fingers removed, okay? Or be in some sort of like torture chair, okay? Thinking happy fucking thoughts isn't going to change the fact that they're having their fucking fingers removed. You could have fucking gangrene and have fucking diabetes. It's not going to change the fact that you have gangrene and diabetes if you think about fucking puppies. Well, a positive attitude qualifies for your positive experiences. Guaranteed half these people don't even know, like, really who the fuck these people are. They're just posting the fucking book because all they had to do was fucking Google half of these. But I also love how they always use these fucking weird fucking colors and, like, they always, they always fucking post these stupid dad quotes and to excuse their shit behavior. In fact, I think it's Filthy Frank actually fucking, like, uh, explain this best, okay? Oh my fucking god. 20 and 6 and 6. But here, okay, I don't want to get back to that for a second. I didn't finish all of that. I totally got distracted. But, if these people, like, still be trying to explain this best. Mm -hmm. These people fucking take photos of random fucking shit. Alright? They'll still fucking take pictures of, like, the fucking dumbest, most fucking lame shit. And then they'll say they're a fucking photographer. Like, here, uh, Instagram model and her ex. You can tell those are fucking either- What the fuck? Those things don't even look fucking real. What the fuck are those? They're like balloons. I'm not talking to anybody, Mom. I'm recording a YouTube video. I'm making a video called Grow What Grinds My Gears, and it's these Instagram models, mom, or these Instagram people, and they'll post these shitty fucking quotes to excuse their trash behavior. Okay, I love you, mom. It's a fancy on fan starter pack. The saddest thing about material is that it never comes from enemies, it comes from those you trust most. I, I swear to fucking God. This guy, uh, people fucking freak out saying, oh, you should talk shit about it. Uh, he's fucking XX stinks, okay? XXX stinks. You know why? You wanna, you wanna know why? He kept saying he wanted to fucking die, okay? He kept saying he wanted to fucking die. Like, more, more than once. Even in his fucking music, he said he wanted to die. So what the fuck is the problem? You were like, oh, it's so sad he died. No. If he really, if you're, if he was really one of those sad people, he'd actually be fucking grateful to die. Like, I think, I think, I think that it, he said he didn't want to die all the time. He just got his wish granted. I just, I'm done. Bye, guys.